Hey everybody, Sam here from Sugar Spun Run, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my favorite easy pie crust recipe. If you are still buying store-bought pre-made pie crust, or if you are yet to find a pie crust recipe that is foolproof for you, then today's recipe is just for you. Today I am sharing my all-time favorite pie crust recipe. This recipe has been in my family for decades, my mom has been using it forever, and I am so excited to be sharing it with you today. We are going to be using a food processor for today's recipe that is going to take out most of the work required in making this pie crust. It's going to make things nice and easy, so please grab your food processor and let's begin. The first ingredient you will need is one cup of all-purpose flour. Now, if you're not familiar with using cup measurements, maybe if you're not from America or if you prefer to use weights, I do have all metric measurements for each ingredient included in the printable recipe. You can grab that in the description below. Now the next thing you're going to need is two teaspoons of granulated sugar. If you're making a savory pie crust, like maybe for a chicken pot pie, you can omit the sugar, but it's a pretty subtle bit of sweetness, so if you include it anyway, it's not going to really make a huge difference. Next, we'll add a quarter teaspoon of salt, and we'll put our lid on our food processor, and we're just going to pulse our dry ingredients until they're combined. The next thing you'll need is six tablespoons of unsalted butter. Now for this pie crust recipe, you are going to want to use very cold butter. I like to stick mine in the freezer a couple minutes before I begin making my pie crust. That way it's nice and cold when I'm ready to use it. You'll wanna cut this into about 10 small pieces and we'll just drop these evenly over our dry ingredients. Now we will pulse this mixture again until coarse crumbs form. This looks pretty good, and so now we will need our secret ingredient for the best, most perfect pie crust I've ever had, sour cream. Today's recipe uses a quarter cup of sour cream, and we'll just add this into the canister of our food processor. We're going to blend everything together until our mixture begins to clump together. Okay, this looks pretty good. At this point, our pie crust dough is basically done. What we'll do now is we'll transfer it to our refrigerator by first removing the blade from your food processor, and we'll just transfer our dough onto a piece of wax paper. Use your hands to just gently work the dough into a disc shape, and because it's a little sticky at this point, I'm going to use the wax paper to help me do that by covering it, and I'm just gonna flatten it so that it's flatter rather than rounder. You don't want a pie crust ball, you want a disc. Now we will transfer this pie crust to our refrigerator where we will chill it for at least 30 minutes. Once your pie dough has chilled for at least 30 minutes, now it is ready to roll out. You'll wanna transfer your pie dough disc to a lightly floured, clean surface. Sprinkle just a little bit of additional flour on top and feel free to add more flour as needed. Now this pie crust recipe will fit a nine or a 10 inch pan, so we are going to roll this out to about a 12 inch circle, that way we have enough dough to cover the sides. Now I'm just gonna transfer this to my pie plate. And I always roll my pie crust a little bit larger than I need to, so that I can trim up the edges so they look nice and neat. You can decorate this pie crust any way you'd like. You can even make a double batch so that you have a bottom and a top pie crust layer. I am just going to go ahead and add a little decoration to the side so it looks nice. And now your pie crust is finished, or at least it's prepared. If you need to blind bake this pie crust, that is cook it without any filling in it, I do have instructions on how to do that on my printable recipe. You can check that out in the description. Otherwise, just fill it with whatever pie fillings you were planning on using or that your recipe calls for and bake it according to your recipe's instructions. I hope you guys enjoyed this super easy pie crust recipe. If you try it out, please let me know what you think. I think you're going to love how easy it is and what a buttery, flaky pie crust it yields. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.